Hey guys, glad to see you back again watching one of my videos. Today I wanted to do a quick update on my little uh, frag tank, which is really just my bedroom tank. The idea was to be a frag tank, but then the fish moved in, and next thing you know there was an enemy, and now the, now it's three anemones, because you see it in a reflection on the back. No, never mind, you want all the attention. But anyways, there's a one around back, and then two here. Um, they keep splitting, and I've got like seven or eight in my main display, so I'm going to get rid of a few of them, trade them off, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to do an update, just kind of show you how we're doing here, and also for people that have never had a little tank, to show them how easy it can be. Um, the tank's really dirty right now, i got to do a cleaning. Uh, I've got a power head in there, just kind of giving some flow. My MP10's taking too many falls, and it's not working, so until I can either get it fixed or replaced. That's just providing a little extra flow in the tank. Uh, so here we are. We've got uh, pulsing Xenia, pulsing stuck on the glass. I don't know why it decided to move up there, but it's got to do what it's got to do. Uh, all the various zoo frags are doing quite well. Let's uh, try and clarify them a bit there. That looks a little better. Plate coral doing great. Um, we got a couple different kinds of GSP. You got the, that's the kind of softer looking GSP, followed by round back. You just kind of see the bright GSP. He's wants the attention again. I got a little more there. Just hoping that that'll spread out some more Xenia tucked under there. Chato went crazy in this tank. Like I seriously took out something like the size of a football the other day, um, and left about half of that it's I don't know, maybe a week ago and like it's already doubled in size again this stuff is growing like nuts um, so that's cool whatever what do we got I moved my a cans from my main display because a cans have never done well for me in there and in here they actually do they puff up there's another one right there um, I actually just moved it so it's kind of retracted right now. I also moved a chalice coral here. This, uh, sorry, the coloration is not the greatest right now. The We're on just blue lighting because it's the evening and the whites have turned off. Plate coral is on the mend. Um, anyone that watched the other video saw that this thing was almost dead from my main display. I don't know what the hell. You know what, some things don't do so well in other tanks because my parameters are all pretty good in there. Um, you know, not too, too bad for anything. So I don't know what the deal is, but whatever. Some things are happier in different tanks than others. Those are, I believe, the eagle eyes, which are just something that had turned up one day. Like, I had bought them, and then they had gone missing. Um, but anyway, so I've managed to have those three heads there, and they look pretty happy, so I'm really hoping they make a recovery. Um, is They're nice. Um, a little SPS. This is... Uh, blue plate coral that I got when I set up the 120 for whatever reason it changed color in the other tank it went to a dark green in this tank it is going back to blue like this was just a piece I snapped off and decided to throw in um, I know it's probably not showing the greatest under this lighting and on you know on an iPhone and all that but it is going back to the blue it was a beautiful baby blue um, so I may talk to, you know, one of my local reef stores or bring them some of my water and have them say, like, you know, if you can see why. Or maybe it's just because in a deeper tank, you know, it's a 30-inch deep tank. Maybe that plays part in it or something. Also, there's going to be different nutrients in different tanks. That one's got a sand bed, and this is a glass bottom, a dirty glass bottom right now, but glass bottom all the same. Uh, those are my favorite zoos right there. Unfortunately there's no zoom on an iPhone or for the video or whatever. Um, those are quite nice as well. That one right next to that SPS frag, it's doesn't show it but it's actually like a neon orange. It doesn't show up well in the video. Yeah these guys are really a little attention hugs. Um, you know, he probably just wants to kick me. Let's let him do it because that's what he likes to do. He likes to swim up to my hand and give me a kick. Uh, maybe not. He just may look. Oh, felt the water there. He was. He's trying. He's a violent little bastard. 
Anyway, that's okay. He's my friend. So, uh, that's really, that's the update, guys. That's all there is to share. Um, I had bought a PAR38 to put over this, a 54 watt PAR38, 50, 50 uh, blue, or it's actually like 40 blue, and, and then 60% uh, um, like 12 or 15,000 K. But anyhow, I w just wasn't digging the light coverage on this tank. So I decided just to stick with the uh, little T5 setup I've got there, the little tech light. Uh, you can't see it anyway, but whatever. I just stuck with that. i got to replace out the bulbs, though. But um, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little update. Um, for anyone that's kind of new and thinking of getting into this stuff, just so you know, this tank is run with no skimmer. Um, it's just got that basic little heater that's supposed to be for a 10 gallon, but it holds my water in here. Uh, you can't see it because it's all dirty probably, but, um, anyways, it holds it at about 78 degrees, which is perfect. Um, just a hang on bio wheel for filtration, which I just clean out the cartridge. I just rinse it or whatever, but the bio wheels, your biological plus the live rock. I got the live rock too. And then I've got that running uh, GFO and carbon, just in two little bags. I don't know how much it helps, but figured what the hell, I'm not out anything. And you know what? Obviously the corals are reacting well to it. I'm not uh, I'm not losing corals in here, so um, it's actually I don't know. It's more of a hospital tank than anything. It's actually recovering the couple of corals that don't do well in my main. So that simply and uh, you know and a power head for a little bit of added. Uh, you know flow in the tank but that simply you can have a tank growing SPS perfectly there's nothing wrong that SPS is growing plate corals growing zoanthids are growing obviously it's supporting anemones because it's split into three um, you know pallies they're doing well it can support plate coral um, obviously it's uh, acans so that simple you can have yourself a little Nemo mini reef tank and it's kind of funny because when I talk to, you know, friends and stuff and just general people about aquariums, everyone's afraid salt water is so much work. And it's really not that bad. On this, I do a water change every couple of weeks, five gallons on this 20-gallon tank. And that keeps it good. I don't know. I don't seem to have any problems. So other than a little bit of dirt on the floor, which I... Uh, you know, I get in there and I clean that all out too, so when I'm doing my water change. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the like button and uh, be sure to check out my other videos.